Hey there everybody, Upstart DJ here, and yes, it's brand new Let's Play time. We move over to the Game Boy Advance for the third incarnation of Mario Kart. This time it's Mario Kart Super Circuit. Oh yeah. Super Circuit is a great game, it's one of my favourites, however, it's not about me, it's about the game. What are we going to be doing? Well, it's another 150cc run. Toad will be our driver this time, well, he's been, always been our driver because he is the best. And as ever, we will kick off with the easiest cup in the game, Mushroom Cup. And Mushroom Cup leads off with Peach's own circuit, yes, it's Peach Circuit, what a perfect name for it. But I'm not going to talk about the circuit because it's too short and too boring. So I'm going to talk about the game itself. What's new in this game? Well, nothing really, but it does bring back a lot of elements from the first two games. The coins are back, as you can see. The coin counter in the top left-hand corner. What do they do if you need reminding? They will boost your speed. The more you collect, the faster you will go. And also, they will make sure that you will never get spun if you are bumped into. Think of it as Sonic. If Sonic has no rings, he will die, but if he has one, he'll be okay. If you have no coins in this game, anyone who touches you will make you spin, but if you have one, you'll be okay. So think of it like that. New items as well, well not new items, but items brought over from Mario Kart 64. The boo is back, three green shells is back, three red shells are back, and the blue shell is back as well. Red shells do actually have another purpose though. If you drop them behind you, they will stay stationary in the middle of the road. And as soon as you pass one, just like then, they will follow you. So make sure you have a green or uh, a green shell or a banana skin to trail behind you, just in case you do pass one of those red shells. But anyway, after a very quick first track, we're done already with Peach Circuit. And Toad has taken a commanding lead, three second lead against Yoshi and Peach. By the way, Mario is back, Koopa Troopa still can't race, because his, his, uh, his Mario Kart still isn't fixed. But anyway, Shy Guy Beach is here. Shy Guy Beach is the second race track of the game, and Shy Guy Beach is just like any beach uh, track that you've ever, ever done. Uh, this one is a little easier though, because you don't actually have to go into the water. All of the jumps are easy. This is the only bit where you may touch water. Water usually slows you down, but you don't need to touch it. There's just too much beach to drive on. on every, every time you come to this bit at the end, always take a left. If you go down the left, it's a shortcut. Other racers do do it as well, so make sure you do it as well, just to try and keep ahead of the guys that do try and take that shortcut. There is another shortcut that I just passed there. You can go left over the water, but as I said, the water does slow you down. So make sure you go over that watery bit with a mushroom if you can. So yeah, take a left there just to take the shortcut. Uh, the biggest threat in this uh, track though are the side steppers, AKA the crabs, which you will know from the Super Mario, well, it's, Mar it's Mario Bros arcade game, isn't it? Um, if you run into them, you will spin, and they do have a funny um, knack of getting you, so just watch out. But as we come up to the final, I don't know, we've done the final lap, as we come up to the final turn, I do a stylish power slide into the water to, to cool off, because it's, it's a hard work being a Mario Kart driver. We take another victory. That's two for two, will we keep this good form? Probably not. <laughs> I didn't have much time to practice for this game, so I'm not great at it. But anyway, we move to the third round, which is Riverside Park. And it's a park by Riverside. Nobody owns it, it's just a random track. And I love this track. Why? Because it goes against the usual Mushroom Cup rules. Usually the Mushroom Cup rules are make easy tracks with easy corners, don't challenge the gamer. This track is actually quite a challenge. The corners come at you quickly and quite a lot of them need power sliding in order to, you know, keep your speed through the corner. Also, this twisty corner at the end can be pr problematic if you don't power slide. So, make sure you practice power sliding on this track because this is the first track on which you'll need it. You'll need it in, the, in a lot of the other tracks in the later cups as well. So, make sure you power slide like hell. Uh, by the way, if you do power slide enough, you will get a speed boost. So, power sliding does help in this game quite a lot. A lot more than uh, the first game, the, uh, the one for the SNES. So, power sliding is A-OK. -okay. But yes, we've got a, a massive lead here against Yoshi. Yoshi's not catching us at all. Even if it fired its tongue at us, it's still not getting us. Poor Yoshi, what a loser. Come on the toad! 
and Toad goes over this speed boost. And I, I get a bit ragged in this game. I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller and it's, it's hard basically. I found it very difficult to go through this game with an Xbox 360 controller so please forgive any mistakes I do. But anyway, we go over the final jump and yes, we take three wins out of three. We are doing so well. This can't last up, Start. You're terrible at Mario Kart games. I know, guys. I know exactly what you're thinking. But after three races, we've got 27 points. We are perfect at the minute. Going into the final track, which is, of course... Bowser's Castle 1. It had to be a Bowser's Castle, didn't it? Yes, the Bowser's Castle 1, the 1, does signify that there are a lot of Bowser's Castles in this game, and believe me, there are. This is probably my favourite Bowser's Castle though, because it's very quick. The corners are square, so you can't go around them uh, tightly. You do have to go actually around the point, or you will bump into the point, um, the square corner point thing. Yeah, I explained that well, didn't I? <laughs> But it doesn't matter, there's no tight corners here. It's a very quick track, you just need to turn normally. You shouldn't run into any of the forms, you shouldn't fall into the lava. It's a nice easy track, it's a nice quick track and you should love it. It's a perfect end to the introductory cup to this game. See, uh, we're on the third lap already. <laughs> I do have quite a bit to explain during the celebration at the end as well. Um, about the, you do get something called ranks in this game. You are given a rank for how well you do throughout all four courses based on coins and how quickly you finish the course. But let me just end this track first. We've done it, we've got the win. Yoshi, oh, why is our lap one slower than the other two laps? Crazy. But yes, we do take a one second victory over Yoshi. We got the full 36. We're four for four. We're doing great. But we get to the celebration. Will a cheap, cheap fish give us our cup? Well, probably. Let's have a look. Now, I'm going to spoil the surprise here. At the end, you will see an analysis screen showing you all your times, all the coins you collected, blah, blah, blah. It will show you a rank. And ranks. I think it's, it goes from D to triple star. It may go lower, I'm not sure. I've actually used Game Shark to unlock everything on this game, and it's given me uh, triple star ranks on all the cups. I just want to be honest with you, I am not that good enough. I'm not good enough at, the, at this game to get triple star ranks on every cup, so I just thought I'd say it right there. But yes, we've done the first cup. It was easy as pie, but how will the flower cup fare? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Circuit. See you later, guys.